Peace. This is a Meat Potato Sorcery production starring myself, the Warrior Alchemist, and today's topic for the occult family is for the record. So I say for the record because I want to talk about a few things and respond as I always do. For the record, the inspiration from that came from a rapper from Bad Boy named Shine. Have mad love for Shine, Brooklyn Stand Up, and a song that he made when he was in Clinton Correctionals was called For the Record. So I'm going to take that same energy and apply it on an arcane level. So, for the record, Trox, be repaired. See, I cracked your head Monday, and I know it's Wednesday, so I just have a certain type of euphoria. So I want to pick up where I left off. So, for the record, when you talk about that the Bible or the little book was around before the Enuma Elish, that's wrong. You took most of your stuff from various other high cultures. And the Enuma Elish was way before then. When you were dealing with Marduk and Tiamat. As well as Enlil and Inki. So stop. Cap. What you're doing. Stop it right now. You're trying to say that the Bible was above all that. But then you can read books by Kersey Graves. 16 Crucified Saviors. You also can read Christianity Before Christ, Before John G. Jackson. You can read that. And you also can read The Moses Mystery by Gary Greenberg. So, for the record, you're wrong and you're being intellectually dishonest. But wait, there's more. There's also an article, CBS News, written September 14th, 2023, that talks about they found evidence in Israel of sorcerers that were going around trying to help heal diseases as well as combat the evil eye. So, and here's the thing that you need to know, mouth breathers. The official religion of Israel, as well as Kemet or Cairo, to be more specific, they had no problem with sorcery. So, contrary to what Vespasian did during Catholicism, there was no problem. They knew that we all keep this thing going. So, they understood that very well. And now I want to come to one of my favorite subjects. When you come to this plane, the third dimensional plane. Many of you do have blood parents, physical parents, but you also have spiritual parents. And sooner or later, they're going to reach out to you when you activate or you choose to practice magic. If you choose, your spiritual parents will reveal themselves. I know who my spiritual parents are, and I've known that for a very, very long time. And this was in conjunction with a tarot reader when I got my gnosis and they revealed that and they said everything you said is right and they merely verified it. But I met one of Tiamat's sons and I've even come into contact, not on a personal level, but just from occult knowledge of children of Moloch. And I want to say this, Oribus, who I have a pact with, he's one of the sons of Moloch. And also one of Orbis' numbers is 179, for the record. And recently, I did something, a few days ago. The Lyrans, or extraterrestrials that have feline or bird-like features and can be anywhere from 6 feet to 9 feet tall. They said, we choose to be your allies. And they said, sooner or later, you're going to visit our kingdom. They said, the work that you've been putting up in your community page, who you think was the inspiration behind that? So just like they reached out to me, I'm going to say this to some of the subscribers. They're also going to reach out to some of you, being that their home in the cosmos is part of the Milky Way. For the record. And... To answer this question, people think you can only be driven 
unsound from the infernal realm or the jinn. That's not entirely true. Here's why. You can do certain chants from the celestial realm, and some of them I even know. Let's say you try to ascend, and you try and do it too quickly due to incompetence or impatience. What can happen is you can break down. There's chants from the Archangel Michael. If you, that I know, that if you want to ascend, Archangel Michael or Mikael will assist you, but there's a price to pay. Everything is give and take and take and give, period. Whether it be on earth, when you in the corporate world, or you're going back to college, trade school, it's, it's like that similarity exists in that realm too. There's a give and take, so you have to position yourself to do that. And I want people to get out of this thing that every angel is someone that's just going to go along to get along. That is far from the case for the record. Lastly, what I want to offer is this. Now, we know October is rearing around. And like the Lyrans have told me, some of some of the so-called lion or tiger or jaguar, guy, they're already here. So it's up to you to try to reach out. And they'll let you know. They will let you know if they're there for you. And they can assist you with your gnosis. So I want each and every one of you to know that. And as I like to always do, let's have some fun with my lapis lazuli. Are the Lyran gods here? Oh, y'all need to get to work. They're on Earth. The name we knew about was Tara back in the day. So with that, that is your meat and potatoes sorcery for the day. I'm the Warrior Alchemist. You water, my friends. Peace.